Hey makers, this is Thruvin and today I am going to talk about COE Starter Kit. COE Starter Kit, most of us have heard this word. COE means Center of Excellence. Now, the question arises in our mind that what do we mean by COE Toolkit? What does it offer? And how it is useful at an organizational level? In this 10 minutes video, I am going to give you the overall idea about COE Starter Kit and what does it offer at organizational level. In this episode, I am not going to talk about the installation part and how you can install the packages step by step. If you are looking for those videos, just provide your feedback in the comment section so I will create a dedicated series on COE Starter Kit. Before we get started with the COE Starter Kit in detail, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, please do follow me. So without further delay, let's get started and talk about why COE Starter Kit. So first of all, let me talk about the current issues that most of the admin faces at this moment. The organizations who are adopting the Power Platform, with time being the number of flows and number of Power Apps are increasing. With that, there are many questions arise at organizational level that how they will manage everything, how many Power Apps and Power Automate flow they do have, how they can track all the information how they can support the user for different environment, different power apps or different power automated related thing, how they can manage ALM, how they can set up a different environment, do they really need to hire someone in order to manage all these assets, what about compliance, what about governance, what about data loss prevention policies, what happens if someone left the organization. These are the major question as an organizational owner or as an admin any organization's person will have. Now, the one answer for this question is COE Starter Kit, means Center of Excellence Starter Kit. So now, let me talk about what do we mean by COE. If I explain the COE in a simple term, the meaning is a place where highest standards are maintained. COE Starter Kit is a collection of components that help us for developing a strategy for adopting and supporting Power Platform. COE Toolkit is a collection of components. Now, what do we mean by those components? COE Starter Kit has built upon five major building blocks based on administration, governance, nurture, theming, innovation and backlog. Now, let me talk about each individual component in detail. Also, if I talk about the technical aspect of on this building block, it is something that is available as a managed solution in Power Platform. Basically, in your Power Platform environment, you need to install all the solution and they will be looking like this. Over here, you can see the different installed component of Center of Excellence. Now, let's talk about each individual component in detail and let's see what it is offer. Now, first of all, let me talk about the administration component in detail. The main purpose of administration component is to define mainly admin related activities. It is a one stop solution to manage all your environments, flows, power apps and power virtual agent chatbot. It provides you one power BI dashboard from where you can manage everything. Along with that, it allows you to manage the DLP policies inside the power apps itself. You can manage the different sort of permission across the apps using this module. Also, it provides the approval process for creating the environment. So, these are the different administration tasks which can be managed easily with the Power Apps. Now, how it is improve the business productivity? So, let's say for an example, at this moment what happen here is, uh, let's say if COE is not in place and one of the user want to create one environment. So, what does he do is, he will directly connect with the admin of the Power Platform and he tell him that, you know, I need to create this environment, just please create for me and admin will create for it. Now, this conversation has been done by the, either via email or either in the Teams chat or either in any other way. So, there is no track for that. Now, with the COE toolkit in place, what happened here is, this process is managed step by step. So, what happened here is, if anyone is looking for an environment, they need to fill out the request for an environment. They need to mention the clear purpose of creating the environment so that admin will also have a track on like why we created this environment and it's totally based on the approval process. Admin can approve it and environment will create for them. So the process is managed properly. 
also sometimes what happen here is many people just trouble the admins that you know on this app i don't have an access just provide me an access but now with this coe in place admin have one stop place where they can see all the available power automate power apps and they can change the owner they can just assign the permission with simple interface they don't need to go here and there with the different environment so with this coe toolkit this task become very easy also the power bi dashboard which is provided in the organizational level helps us a lot it provide all the detail insight obviously it's a very detailed topic so maybe in the upcoming video series i will be talking more about this thing in detail but yeah this is the overall idea also one more important thing that mostly dlp policies is handled by power platform admin center and in admin center we are defining the dlp policies but now it created uh, now as a part of coe we can manage the dlp policies using the apps itself so this is the beauty of administration module now let's talk about the second component of coe starter kit which is governance component sometimes as an admin it's our duty to gather the additional information about the apps that your makers are creating for audit purpose and to track everything that why the app has been created and what are the different connectors that are being used to develop the app this is also helpful with the auditing purpose and sometimes when as a admin you want to do some data cleaning process this information might help you for that governance component comes up into picture now let's talk about what are the key features provided by the governance feature so you can manage the audit process of your apps using the governance module also you can clean up the old object and clean up the orphan object and also make the app quarantine if certain rules are not followed now let's talk about each individual thing in detail so first of all let me talk about what type of audit process does it provide so the audit process is defined in such a way that every day one schedule flow will run and check into your tenant that if your apps are compliant or not now what do we mean by compliant here so whenever the app is created basically the thing is that they need to pr provide the business justification and the other information of the app now if those information are not provided in detail which means that app is not compliant so first of all flow will find all the non compliant app then it is emailing the app owner to provide the detail information the app owner will simply click on the email link and they will redirect it to the developer compliance center app and fill in the detail information now as a power platform admin center the business process flow will help you to facilitate the auditing process and once the app is approved there is one app catalog when all the compliant app are published so this is the audit process which is available as a part of coe starter kit also as a part of governance component it provide you the different application for cleaning up your old object cleaning up your orphaned object and the facility to make the app quarantine if certain business rules are not followed so that's overall idea about the governance component now let's talk about the third component which is nurture component now nurture component accelerate your adoption by thriving with a community of makers nurture component provide two main features one is maker assessment app and training app now let me talk about maker assessment app maker assessment app is something which is useful for maker before they are started developing the solution let's say for an example most of the time makers are not realizing about the licensing and sub couple of premium component that they are going to use into their application now this app provides a series of question where they need to fill in the different information depending on the question it is providing the suggestions over here that you know you are going to build this kind of application so this is requiring ai feature or sometimes this is requiring premium connector so before starting the development you can make sure and you can aware your customers about this features that you know uh, if we are going to develop this kind of implementation then it require premium licenses and we need to make sure that we have premium licensing in place otherwise we can just think through some alternative ways so this is very helpful for the makers also it provides you the admin component as well so as an admin you can uh, change the different questions so it will help your makers in a day to day maker app assessment 
Now, it also provide training management app. So let's say for an example in your organization, you wanted to do some activities, some training kind of things. So you can simply create your trainings over here and users can easily join those meetings and uh, it providing you the beautiful user interface where all the events will be uh, shown and all the users who are going to part in that event as an admin, you can track that as well. So one training registration app is also provided in an out of the box component way with the part of nurture component. Now let's talk about the fourth component which is theming component. We can use the theming component to create and manage the themes for the canvas app. A theme contains a collection of styles that define the multiple design properties for controls components such as colors, font and borders. These styles are applied automatically when maker use the theme template app to create the new app. Now, what happened here is let's say for an example in your organization you develop one app you want to build similar kind of five to ten different app so you can just create a theme for your tenant with your color font format different type of borders that you need and just create one template for the power apps and users can easily download that template and start building their app development from it as well so this is the very useful component as a part of the UA toolkit, you will get the theming component as well. Now let's talk about the fifth important component which is innovation backlog component. For any organization, there is a possibility that many innovations are going to place in future as well as there is a whole list of backlog for the current development. Now it provides a canvas app that is used to share and vote on the ideas, describe the pain point and the app that needs to be built in the future. And it is also measure the return of investment. So this is provide a canvas app where anyone can submit the ideas. Anyone can afford the ideas. If any developer is available, they can just pick up the idea and start working on it. Also, as a developer, you can connect to the voters who has added this idea. Also, Deep has, also this app is designed in a such a manner that it, it measures the return of investment as well. So depending on the priorities, we can start working on the different innovations in the organization so if i explain you in a simple word it is something that for microsoft we have different ideas panel like power apps ideas or power bi ideas people are submitting the different ideas we are upvoting them and depending on the priority microsoft team is working on the same you can consider the similar thing as a part of innovation backlog app so that's all about the overall ceo it starter kit model if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure to hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any training or consultation, the website link is available on the channel cover homepage. Also, all the social media information along with Twitter, Instagram, podcast links are available in channel cover page. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.